The legend of Dogman has been a subject of intrigue for many. Its elusive nature combined with sporadic sightings and anecdotal evidence divides the populace into believers and skeptics. Delving into why some people believe in the Dogman while others dismiss it reveals a complex interplay of psychological, sociological, and cultural factors. For many, belief in cryptids like the Dogman arises from a deep-seated psychological need to believe in the unknown and unexplained. The world is vast, and the idea that not everything has been discovered feeds the human spirit. Additionally, personal experiences and testimonies from trusted individuals can solidify these beliefs. For someone who believes they've seen or encountered the dogman, no amount of skepticism can easily shake their conviction. Skepticism, on the other hand, often stems from a need for empirical evidence. The scientific method, which relies on reproducibility and tangible evidence, doesn't lend itself easily to cryptid claims, which are often based on singular, non-reproducible events. For skeptics, anecdotal evidence isn't sufficient enough to substantiate the existence of such creatures. Dogman tales and similar cryptids are often amplified by media movies, documentaries, TV shows, and books. These platforms, while entertaining, can blur the lines between fiction and reality for some viewers. In a world where sensational stories grab attention, accounts of dogman encounters can become deeply ingrained in public consciousness. Conversely, the commercialization of cryptids can further entrench skepticism. Seeing the dogman story told in various media forms often with added dramatic flair, can make the entire concept seem fabricated for entertainment rather than based on genuine encounters. Communities, especially areas with frequent dogman sightings or folklore, can foster collective belief systems. When multiple individuals share stories of encounters or pass down tales through generations, it lends credence to the idea. Being part of a group that believes in the dogman can validate individual beliefs and create a sense of belonging. In contrast, communities rooted in scientific or academic settings tend to be skeptical of cryptid claims. Within these circles, empirical evidence is paramount, and without it, the dogman remains a myth. To many, the dogman is a product of folklore, a legend without any real substance. But for the sake of exploration, let's consider the biological possibility of such a creature existing. All species on Earth, as we understand them, have evolved over millennia to adapt and survive in their respective environments. The concept of bipedalism, or the ability to walk on two legs, is not exclusive to humans. Birds, some dinosaurs, and even certain primates exhibit bipedal locomotion. If we consider the possibility of a canine species taking an evolutionary detour towards bipedalism, it would require a significant set of environmental pressures that would make walking on two legs more advantageous than on four. For a canine to evolve into a bipedal creature, profound skeletal changes would be necessary as well. The spine's curvature would need to alter to support an upright posture. The pelvis would require restructuring to attach to two powerful legs capable of supporting their entire body weight. Such a transition would likely take millions of years, assuming there was an evolutionary advantage to do so. Along with skeletal modifications, there would need to be substantial muscular and cardiovascular adaptations. Two legs would mean larger muscles in the legs for support and propulsion. The cardiovascular system would have to adjust to pump blood efficiently to a vertically oriented body, maintaining oxygen supply and removing waste products efficiently. Transitioning from a quadruped to a biped stance would not just be a matter of bones and muscle. It would affect the creature's entire perception of its environment. The eyes, which on a dog are situated on the sides of its head, might shift forward, 
similar to primates, to provide better depth perception. This change would be crucial for a predator that now has to navigate, hunt, and protect itself in an upright position. The brain would also need to adapt both in terms of structure and capacity to process information differently. With a shift in body structure and hunting dynamics, dietary needs might also change. While a quadrupedal wolf or dog can rely on its speed and pack tactics, a bipedal dogman might need to develop different hunting strategies, possibly even tools. This could mean changes in its digestive system and its metabolic rate. The reproductive organs and processes might also need to adapt. How would a bipedal canine carry its young? Would it still bear litters? Or would there be a move towards single births, like humans? Evolutionary theory suggests that creatures that invest more in individual offspring tend to have longer lifespans, so the dogman might have a different lifespan than its quadrupedal counterparts. The environment plays a crucial role in the evolutionary pathway for any species. For a canine to turn bipedal, its environment would need to present challenges that favor bipedalism. Perhaps a landscape where standing tall provides visibility advantages, or where two-legged mobility offers access to resources or shelter. For all these changes to happen, there would need to be genetic mutations that support each one. Evolution, as we understand it, relies on beneficial mutations being passed down and amplified over generations. The odds of all the necessary mutations occurring in sequence or simultaneously are astronomically low. Assuming the dogman did evolve, it would need to establish its place in the food chain. As a new species, it might face threats from other established predators. It would have to compete for food, territory, and mates, adding another layer of complexity to its survival. While the idea of a flesh and blood dogman is captivating, from a biological standpoint, the odds seem heavily stacked against its existence. Now, all of that does not take into account that the dogman may not be a flesh and blood being but in fact supernatural. In many cultures, there are myths and legends of beings that can transform between human and animal forms, such as the werewolf in European lore or the skinwalker in Native American tales. The dogman might be such a being, not bound by the limitations of the physical realm, but instead a supernatural shapeshifter. The Dogman can be seen as a modern iteration of age-old tales of beings that blur the lines between humans and animals. For some, these stories aren't just myths, but historical accounts providing a cultural basis for belief. The wide range of habitats and regions where Dogman has been reported is puzzling. A single undiscovered species being present in such diverse conditions without concrete evidence seems implausible. However, a supernatural entity wouldn't be bound by typical ecological or geographical limitations. The lack of concrete evidence combined with the eerie nature of the encounters and the creature's place in cultural lore suggests that the dogman may be more spirit than species. With the reported Dogman sightings, there have been tracks, photos, and even audio recordings offered as proof of its existence. However, analyzing these pieces of evidence critically and scientifically is essential to separating myth from reality. So let's delve into a review of the primary types of physical evidence related to Dogman claims. Typical dogman tracks resemble oversized canine footprints, often larger than any known wild canine species. These prints may occasionally exhibit bipedal patterns, suggesting an upright walking creature. Track evidence is one of the most commonly presented proofs for many cryptids. While with the dogman, a major challenge in validating tracks is differentiation. The tracks can often be confused with other known animals, such as bears, wolves, or large dogs. 
Environmental factors such as rain or snow can alter footprints, making them appear larger or different than they originally were. Another consideration is hoaxing. Creating fake footprints as pranks or to generate interest in a location. Thus, tracks, while intriguing, are not conclusive evidence without associated genetic material or concurrent video evidence. Photos purported to be of the dogman generally depict a large humanoid creature covered in fur. Some images suggest a creature with a dog-like head, muscular torso, and a bipedal stance. Photography in the digital age is both a boon and a bane for cryptid research. While capturing images has become easier and more ubiquitous, so too has the ability to alter and fabricate those images. Many alleged dogman photos suffer from issues like low resolution. Many images are grainy, out of focus, or are taken from a distance, making detailed analysis challenging. Often, the creature could be another animal, a play of shadows, or manipulated imagery. Without a clear frame of reference, it's hard to determine the size, posture, or even the clear shape of the alleged creature. While photos can be compelling and often form the cornerstone of cryptid claims, they require thorough vetting ideally with the original, unaltered digital file for analysis. Some enthusiasts have presented audio recordings of eerie howls and growls as evidence of the dogman. These recordings are characterized by their unfamiliarity. They don't match typical wildlife sounds known to those areas. Audio evidence is among the most challenging to validate. Without visual confirmation, attributing a sound to a particular source is speculative at best. Natural environments are filled with a cacophony of sounds, many of which can be surprising to the untrained ear. Known animals can produce unfamiliar noises when distressed, in mating calls, or even casual communication. Technological manipulation also plays a role. With audio editing software, sounds can be altered in pitch, speed, and tone, making the origin harder to pinpoint. Without a clear chain of custody and context, audio recordings remain intriguing but inconclusive. One of the strongest arguments against the existence of Dogman is the lack of any physical specimens. With many sightings over the years across various regions, it's surprising that no bodies or remains have been found. In the age of DNA analysis, even hair or saliva samples linked conclusively to an unknown canine species would significantly bolster claims. While not physical evidence, eyewitness accounts form a significant portion of Dogman lore. These testimonies, often detailed and emotionally charged, can be compelling. However, human memory and perception are fallible. Without physical evidence to back up these claims, they remain anecdotal. The legend of Dogman, like many cryptids, is rich with tales, sightings, and purported evidence. While tracks, photos, and recordings provide tantalizing hints of the creature's existence, none have been rigorously validated by the wider scientific community. This lack of conclusive evidence doesn't necessarily disprove the dogman's existence, but it does call for caution and a healthy dose of skepticism. In the pursuit of understanding our world's mysteries, it's essential to approach such phenomenon with both curiosity and critical thinking. The dogman, whether real or folklore, serves as a reminder of the vast unknowns that still exist and the human drive to explore and understand them. The unknown has always fascinated humanity. From the depths of the oceans to the vastness of space, the unexplored beacons. For many, cryptids like the Dogman represent the terrestrial unknown, creatures that exist just beyond the fringes of our understanding, evoking wonder and curiosity. 
Skeptics might argue that the dogman, like other cryptids, is a cultural evolution of ancient myths adapted for modern sensibilities. Instead of viewing these tales as historical truths, they see them as allegories or cautionary tales. A distrust in mainstream institutions can bolster belief in cryptids. If one believes that authorities are hiding or dismissing evidence of the dogman, it reinforces the idea that there is a truth being suppressed. On the other hand, those with strong trust in scientific institutions are more likely to await peer-reviewed evidence before accepting the existence of entities like the dogman. For them, if such a creature existed, it would have been documented or studied extensively by now. Belief in the dogman or lack thereof isn't merely a matter of credibility or skepticism. It's a complex mosaic shaped by individual experiences, community narratives, cultural history, and personal psychology. While it's easy to dismiss believers as naive or skeptics as closed-minded, understanding the nuanced reasons behind those convictions fosters empathy and dialogue. Cryptids like the Dogman serve a broader purpose beyond their potential existence. They challenge our understanding of the world, push the boundaries of accepted knowledge, and most importantly, remind us of the ways humans perceive and interpret their surroundings. Whether or not the Dogman roams the woods or is merely a product of our collective imagination, its legend encourages introspection, curiosity, and respect for the diverse tapestry of human belief. It's clear that this creature, whether real or born of folklore, holds a captivating grip on our collective imagination. From eyewitness accounts to cultural narratives, the dogman's presence in our stories speaks volumes about our innate human fascination with the unknown. The realm of cryptids has always danced along the fine line between skepticism and belief, and the dogman is no exception. While concrete evidence of this bipedal canine's existence remains elusive, the multitude of testimonies and tales ensures that it won't fade into obscurity anytime soon. It's essential to approach the topic with both curiosity and critical thinking. Every story, photograph, or piece of alleged evidence should be analyzed with an open mind, but also with a discerning eye. The legends of cryptids, including the dogman, are as much about the creatures themselves as they are about us, our perceptions, and our relationships with the mysteries of the natural world. Whether you leave this documentary a skeptic, a believer, or somewhere in between, one thing is certain. The legend of the dogman, like all enduring myths, serves as a reflection of our deep-seated need to explore, to question, and to marvel at the vast unknowns of our world. Until the next mystery unfolds, keep your eyes open, your cameras ready, and your senses of wonder alive.